Okay, so let's proceed now and let's start this topic, what is lighting design? Okay, so what is lighting design? If you are a beginner or you really want to change your career into lighting designer, I will tell you some secrets and I hope that you will absorb it from the bottom of your heart because this is very important and because uh, lighting design is an art and science and a passionate career. So please go back and check these videos again until you absorb it properly. Okay, so what is a lighting design? So lighting design is a field within architecture, interior design, and electrical engineering that is concerned with the design of lighting systems, including natural light, electric light, or both to serve human needs. So the design process takes account of the kind of human activity for which lighting is to be provided, the amount of light required as per the standards. Okay, you can see all those uh, orange text. Those are the most important terms that you need to understand, which I will explain later. Okay, and then the color of the light color of the light as it may affect the views of particular objects and the environment as a whole, the distribution of light within a space to be lighted whether indoor or outdoor, the effect of the light to the user and space. So it is important to appreciate that the ultimate criterion of success in lighting is the human response. So everything that we are going to do in lighting design, it should consider what will be the advantage to the human health and also activities and functions. So that is whether that is to be chosen clearly, easily, and without discomfort. So everything is all about human response. Okay, so uh, this orange text are the most important one. We will come back to this one by one again because when, we, when I say color of the light, I will main, mention maybe what is a CRI or CCT, which some of you don't know yet because you are a beginner. But if you are already working as a lighting designer, of course, you know what are the, what are the colors of the light and the distribution of the light and the amount of light, which about lux level or candela. So there you go. Okay, so let's proceed. So I will give you some definitions based on different people because you will encounter as a lighting designer that there are people who said lighting design is contradicting to others who said what is a lighting design. Okay, so don't disagree with this because they already know something that maybe you don't know yet. So just open your mind. Okay, so these are some of the, the definitions of a lighting designs for a different people. Number one, lighting design, to some they said it is all about overall uniformity. Okay, you might think that the word overall uniformity is what is that? Okay, overall uniformity means you have an even distribution in one room like what you are seeing right now. Okay. Most of the lighting consultant or MEP or mechanical electrical plumbing consultants, they will tell you, give me a very good overall uniformity. They keep on saying that overall uniformity. Okay. All right. So to some people, lighting design is about the interplay of light and shadow. So most of these people are, are those people who has a background of, um, theater lighting or artist because they are very keen into a light effect on any object so they will say to you that lighting design is about light and shadow and of course when you become a lighting designer you will actually play light and shadow later on because for example in a retail shop it's not really good to flash all those merchandise with light you should Make it a little dramatic or if you're working on a museum or facade lighting, yes, you sh using light and shadow or dark will give you a dramatic effect. Okay. All right. Later on, you will understand it more. To some people, they will say that lighting design is about the playing of natural light. So most of these people are sustainable architects 
or green architects or green designers that they want to use daylight or natural light as part of the architecture as lighting. So they will say that the most effective lighting design or what is lighting design is play with, playing with the natural light. Okay, so don't disagree with them because that is true. Because being a lighting designer, you should know how to play both the natural light and artificial light. Okay, next, for some people, lighting design is about the luminaire. How efficient the luminaire, the optics of the luminaire, the diffuser of the luminaire, the attachment of the luminaire, the ballast, the gears, and all other things about the light fitting or the luminaire. Most of these people are connected to lighting manufacturer or supplier. Again, do not counter um, mention anything about the luminaire because what they are saying is also true because you will use those different types of luminaires in your lighting design and because they are part of the, uh, the manufacturer and supplier of the luminaire, they mostly discuss lighting as fitting, as luminaire. They are not aware or they are not familiar with the aesthetic or human effect of light, but most of the time of the technical part of lighting design, which is most of the time the luminaire. Okay, so next. Yeah, so some people, they said the lighting this, that lighting design is uh, about the luminous flux or lumens or lux value or candelas or illuminance or... Those technical terms that, of course, you need to understand later on or you need to use later on are the most common word that most of the lighting designers use. So as a beginner, you need to understand those words. So if you encounter people who said lighting design is about lux value, overall uniformity, uh, luminous flux, intensity, luminance, those people are more into technical or most of the time they are the most senior lighting designers who wants to show off their knowledge about lighting designs because they want to tell you that they are so knowledgeable. That's why they are using those technical words. But do not intimidate because let, later on you will understand all those words also and maybe you will also use those words as in yourself. So... Uh, if you encounter these kind of people, just listen to them. I'm sure you will learn a lot from these people who keep on using those technical words about lighting design. Okay? Next, to some people, lighting design is about energy efficiency. It's about saving power, saving energy, lowering the cost of light and expenses in lighting design. So most of the time, these are the people who are connected to the government officials or again in uh, green building professionals or uh, sustainable professionals who keep on saying that you need to design with a lower consumption. And if you succeed in having a good light with a lower consumption, it means your lighting design is perfect. Okay, so again, don't counteract with this kind of people who keep on saying, give me the most efficient design or lowest consumption lighting design. Because most of these people are concerned about saving energy and maybe planet Earth. <laughs> like they don't want to emit so much carbon dioxide on the air and yeah, those kind of stuff. All right, and because of you later on will become a lighting designer also, you need to understand that yes your design should be always towards efficiency this is very important even though you are a very good lighting designer if you don't consider the planet earth or the environment or how efficient your lighting design is then yeah you will be just part of a professional who keep on wasting energy so don't be like that okay next so that the, these people who keep on saying about the light is about art or light is about science or technical yeah they missed something because in reality lighting design is an art and science so if you are an architect or an electrical engineer or those professionals who has the background in technical or artistic side you need to consider that lighting is both of this like an art and technical or science Okay, so lighting is in between art and science. Okay, 
All right. So on the next topic, we will discuss who is a lighting designer. Are you really can be a lighting designer or not? So let's go and check that one on the next video.